Okay, so now that we've dried, I did a, a few little touch-ups here and there, but you can, you know, get a picture of what you're looking at and just sort of work from that if you want. But I'm going to, now we're going to lay in some darks and some lights, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is this, that there's some really bright highlights on this side. So let's map those in using white. So find some clean white somewhere and a small round brush. And we'll start back here. And um, we're going to go across this line right here. Okay. And then that sort of comes down like that. And then uh, we'll pick it up here. Go right at the edge. It has a brief stop right here. Just the tiniest little stop. For that line and then this is all white to the tip and this is all white here showing the light hitting it And then there's white that comes down here in the center. It sort of angles like this. And then it comes behind this little light here. And it meets the other in the front. And then there's another spot that comes right here. And it's just a really sort of sharp pointed section. And a little bit, I'm, I'm working from a picture uh, a photograph but you know of course this isn't going to be exactly exactly the same and then um, we do have this little tiny space right before the wing goes up where there's a highlight okay I don't like this line right here because I feel like it's not quite right. So I'm going to smooth that out just a little to break. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. Bring the shape into more continuity because you can look at these things and think, you know, you're following it exactly, but there's always human error. Now I'm going to take this brush that has white on it and I'm going to do a little wipey and then I'm going to kind of hit the tip here with sort of a dry white brush to hit a highlight. Same thing here. I'm going to come right along this window and above I'm running out of white. I'm going to tap just a little bit of white and then hit it on my rag. And um, we're coming right at this corner. And then across the top. Sort of dry brushed. It's not quite as intense as the ones over here. And then there's also a little bit of reflected light. It's a little bit bright. I need to... Coming from underneath from the earth. That casts a little bit of a light there. Okay. 
and right in this spot right here where this dark little fin is right above it there must be some sort of a little light and then we also have over here we have a light on our space shuttle thingy SpaceX Dragon so we're gonna put first we're gonna lay in a little white circle And then we're going to dip into our gray a little bit and um, this gray right here and just do the side of the little uh, window thing that goes right there. You can take a little tiny brush with some gray and black on it. And then just hit that right about there. Might have to go in there and neaten that white up again. And I'm gonna coming in here and I'm just sort of tightening up this line just a little bit. smearing it out with my finger. Okay, now let's get a flat brush and do a little bit of black. We need to fix this window, make it nice and dark. I'm leaving that one side just a little bit lighter. And then here, we're gonna bring those super darks right kind of in the middle of this. And then this is gonna be super dark. Okay, with our light gray and sort of bluish with a little tiny brush, I'm using like a zero here. I'm gonna take just a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. And I'm gonna mix up just sort of a palish blue. And we're gonna put this little, we won't be able to see it, but it'll be the little identifier, which is the NASA emblem. So we're gonna put that there. We are not gonna draw the details on it because it's too tiny, but it'd be kind of fun to have that there. And then there's also actually a little space here where there's a flag. Now I'm probably not gonna put the flag in, but I'll put this, this little rectangle here to show that space. And then we need to bring this um, curve down here. So let's take some dark gray, which is like this. We could just use this dark blue, bluish gray, and add just a little bit of black to it. And I'm using this little tiny brush. And we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna draw this line right here. And then I'm going to take my brush with a little water on it and I'm going to blend. Just blend it up just a little bit. So we just want to show that line but and then we're going to do the same thing here at this edge. We're going to take that dark color and just do the very outline. Just 
to show where the end of the spaceship is, okay? So let's take some of that dark blue and dark color that we made and just hit a few spots on the underside of this just to show a few details. So we can see our spaceship in space. Now there are some other words and numbers. I'm not gonna do all that on there, but you could wait till it dries and then you could come back and you could uh, do with a Sharpie, a little tiny Sharpie, put any kind of numbers or registration on it that you wanted. I'm not going to try to do that on this video because it's really challenging. Um, and I do see one more last thing I want to do. Just hit it right here. A little bit of white. Really, I want to do it kind of dry brushed. And we are done. You could sign your name. You can keep messing with it a little bit. If you want to put some little details or things around on it, you could totally do that. Neaten up some of your lines, sort of like I'm doing now. You could even change yours just a little bit if you had other ideas. Okay. As I'm looking at it, I keep saying I'm done, and then I keep seeing more that I want to do. Maybe clean this up a little. Okay. All right. We've got our spaceship, our SpaceX Dragon-inspired uh, space artwork. I hope you've enjoyed this time. And... Do post. If you do this, do post it to Facebook because we just love to see what you've done. And please, you know, feel free. Change it. Do whatever you want to do to make yours original. It's, we encourage that a lot. Okay? Have a great day. And don't forget to create every single day, my friends. Bye.